morning! Chelsea here with Mom Life in my 30s. I am getting ready for work and I thought you might want to get ready with me. So today's my weigh-in and we have lots to talk about. I had an awesome weigh-in. I am down 5.2. Yes, you heard me correctly, 5.2. When I was about 32, uh, I had some friends who were doing intermittent fasting. And if you don't know what that is, just go ahead and YouTube intermittent fasting. A couple months later, I my weight had fluctuated. I am five six and a half. Um, that at that time I was up to about one eighty. I want to say I read a lot of the books that the, there was doctors that had um, written about it. Doctor Fung go went ahead and started doing it, and honestly, right off the bat, I lost ten pounds. So I was only doing like sixteen hour. Um, fast and I did that for like two years. I kind of just um, Paused my weight loss. So I had lost I had gotten down to about 155. So that's a lot actually. So I did lose quite a bit from 180 to 155 So like 25 pounds I lost last summer I Was still doing IF but I'd hit this place where I really wanted to get below 150 I knew my body would feel better at 150. After talking with my husband, I said, you know, I just need a, I just need an accountability group that I can talk with people about it. That's when I decided to do WW. So I started the beginning of August, 2019 with WW. I was, could not get below 150. Could not budge that. My first week on WW, I blew it away. I was like 148. It was awesome. I was so proud of myself. And the purple guy is kind of cool. Yeah, those are I lost 10 pounds in the first 12 weeks of WW. So I started at like one about 153 when I started WW. So I lost a lot of weight on my first week. And then I got down to 143. Anywho, I did some research and I did find that there was some Facebook groups out there of people who were doing WW and I intermittent fasting. I kind of got off the IF train after I started WW again. Just kept doing w, just WW. Just really wanted to try it to see how long I could maintain this because I knew it was important for me to maintain something before I tried my next step. It's not easy in the beginning, um, but neither is WW. Um, but the, what I really like about doing them both together, my problem before was that I would do IF, but then when I had my time of the day when I would eat, which was usually between like two and eight, I would like pig out. And that's not what you're supposed to do on IF. Like your body's supposed to adjust, you're supposed to feel full and you're supposed to stop. Like, but I was still struggling with that. So that's why I like WW because <clears throat> I can keep on track knowing how many points I'm supposed to have a day. So long story short, I restarted that on Sunday and I have decided to switch over to the purple plan as well so I can utilize the zero point foods as much as possible because I do think that's the route I would like to go on. Sometimes people in IF, they do longer fast and they do shorter fast. Normally I would do like a fast just for the, like a normal fast, like you would just fast like when you're sleeping and then have like a late lunch. That's like normally what I would do. But I knew I needed to kick start my body and I decided like it was important for me to get back on track. And um, on Sunday night at 9 p.m., I stopped eating. And I did not eat until Tuesday night at 6 p.m. with my family for dinner. I have to say, when you do a long fast like that, fruits become so much sweeter. Like my applesauce, it was unsweetened, it was so sweet to me. It was like candy, it was so good. So I did a 46 hour fast. And that's just how it worked out because I stopped eating at 9 p.m. on Sunday and I went to eat dinner with my family at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. So I think this was just the kick in my pants I needed to just really re-motivate myself and freshen myself. So from this point on, um, I'm going to continue talking about WW and the purple points. And then I'm going to tell you about how my journey with IF goes. Well, we have donkeys on our farm and I definitely want to do a video of that someday of our donkeys. But it says, hit the road, Jack. And I think it's so cute. Thanks for getting ready with me. I'm going to brush my teeth and I'm going to be on the way out to you guys later. Have a fabulous day. All right, see you guys later.